Heaven to fall, they tried to count me I out. come to you, Lord. They tried to Thank do me bad. For all the favor you done show. But they ain't know the hell. When everybody My name Wi-Fi. Alright. Where you from, man? 1887, Angel, Orange County. Alright, that's what's up. Well, um, what kind of music do you got? What kind of music do you do? What you label your music as? I do gospel hip hop. Gospel hip hop, that's right. Mean. Or some people say Christian hip hop. Okay. Either or. Well, how long? How long have you been doing it? I mean, how long have you been taking it serious? Well, taking it serious, probably the last year. The last year. Honestly. Okay. But rapping is something you've been doing for a while, huh? Right. How long? How long you been doing that? I've been rapping over ten years, man. Okay. All right, so what made you what made you switch lanes from hip hop to? Well, I mean, I would I was really in in reality I was transitioning, you know, mentally with my God and you know trying to build my relationship with the Most High. So I felt like, you know, hip hop wasn't uh, it wasn't significant, you know what I'm saying? It it wasn't significant to me. So if I'm a crossover with God with my religion and mentally, I might as well cross over with the music, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, okay. Well, you, um, now what are some of the things that actually influenced that way, that mindset that you switched over to? Uh, I guess um, the trials and the tribulations transpired in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I, was search I was searching for better. So with that being said, you know, I had to put everything in perspective and do it the right way, so that what made me cross over. Okay. Well, um, do you got any influences in, in the music period? Like, just from, not even just from gospel music, just period. Like, what influenced you to even speak on how you speaking, music-wise? You mean for his music? Yeah. Uh, any artists? Honestly, no one really, like, for us the music. Uh-huh. So yeah. these are all personal experiences? Yeah. I was already head first, you know, on this mission, so I can't blame it on on the music for it's inspiring me. Okay. So what do you what are you looking out to, you know, like what are you looking for with the music that you're putting out? What is your goal to to re you're trying to reach? Well, my goal, honestly, if I can if I can talk to a, a million people, a million people listen to me, if I can change one life, mm -hmm. one soul, then you know, that's part of my mission. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I just want to change lives and, you know what I'm saying, get people to really listen to me and, you know, we can be on one accord and I'm just a messenger. You okay. see what I'm saying? That's real. I'm just telling them what God say. Okay. You know. That's real. Well, um, is it any artists, other artists out here that you like to work with, you know, um, pushing your music, uh, obviously singers or whatever? It's a few people I wouldn't mind working with. Um. Like this one guy, I forget his name though, so I can't give him a shout out. I love his music. It's a few people, you know, I wouldn't mind working with. You got anything going on in the community? Like, you know, I know you obviously work with a lot of youth. I see kids right. in your videos and whatnot. Are you doing anything? Well, right now, um, I, t I talked to the, the mayor of Edenville. We got other plans, you know, in regards for, to help the youth. Okay. In my community. Alright. Um, once we get everything right, I'll let you know. But okay. We do have plans for the youth. Alright, that's what's community. Yeah. Let's talk about um some of your songs. Like what what's what's some of your songs you're trying to push right now? Well right now my, my hot single called mm. Take Not the Game. Alright. You know, we pushing that very heavy. You got people who really believe in it. Um I promote a lot of people. Um like I said before, I got self-preservation. It's about to drop within the next week or two. Um, mm -hmm. Trials and tribulations um, featuring the kid. Also, um, she's featuring on knocking on heaven's uh, door as well. Okay. So we got we got some hot songs coming up. Uh -huh. Yeah, within the next week or two. Okay. Right. Now I hear you keep saying trials and tribulations. Right. Um, Let's talk about some of those some struggles that you had to uh, endure just getting to the point that you are right now. I just don't know the story. What do you want to story? <laughs> Whatever. You got to speak on all of them. Just I speak mean, on some. some. I'm going to tell you like this. Uh -huh. 
I lost my father, oh, my mother, sorry to hear that, bro. all my uncles, okay. my grandma, my granddaddy. And you know, to make things worse, mm -hmm. I watched them all suffer, like firsthand. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. My little brother got shot in the face, lost one eye. He died, came back. I'd have been shot at, I'd have been in prison two times. You know, two time loser. I'd have been in prison nine years, I've seen it all. I've seen everything but the wind and the Holy Ghost, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, with that being said, man, I had no choice but to, to cross over. Okay. Well, you know, that's some real trials and tribulations right there, man, you know. And, and it's gonna be a young boy, young lady, you know, watching this. Anything you wanna be able to say to them that to help them move when they feeling like, you know, it's, it's too much for them? Only thing I can tell them, to be honest, <clears throat> when you feel like don't nobody got your back, and you're in a predicament, you know, and you can't, it's out of your control, you gotta give it to God. But one thing about it, if you talk to God for what you want in life, you gotta walk it out. You see what I'm saying? It's just like, I know I know you got kids, so mm -hmm. I know when, when your little boy, he trying to walk, and you watching him walk, you come down and you like, come on, you come and help him out, cause you know he trying. That's the same way God work, you see what I'm saying? God work in this situation. Okay. You know? In the situation, the next man can't work. He gonna work in the situation to help you out. But you gotta have faith. All right. And walk by faith, not by sight. You gotta really believe in what you what you want, what you're trying to do. You gotta believe in it. Okay. You gotta start with the most high. Well, um, we've um, done interviews with different types of artists with all types of genre of music. And um, just wanted to know when it came to you know you putting yourself out there with this gospel music or what have you, have you have any? What some of the obstacles you had? Have you have any or like do you people do people are they rejecting you? Are they you know receiving you? You know what type of platforms are you using? Well, honestly, I mean, can't nobody. I'm gonna get this clear first. Can't nobody come come between my mission. Nevertheless, they can come between my relationship with God. But at the end of the day, you know you got disbelievers, you got haters. I don't care what what you're doing in life. It's always gonna people who it's gonna always be people who gonna doubt you. See what I'm saying? We get, I got doubters. I got people scandalize my name, just like the next individual. But you know it. It's not hindering me from you know completing my mission and that like that. But other than that, everything good. Okay. Um, what, are, what are some of the, like if people wanted to listen to your music, how can they find it, you know? Well, how right, can they find you? Right now, you know, we got our videos on um, on YouTube, uh, up under Jesus Gang Gang, you know. They put Jesus Gang Gang in there, they gonna see all our videos anyway, so. Okay. That's it right now. All right. Our promoters, they, they work on Spotify and the other little apps or whatever, but it's not complete right now. Okay. Well, can they, um, how can they find you on social media? My Facebook page is uh, official Wi-Fi Wi-Fi. And also my IG is Wi-Fi Wi-Fi as well. See, you got a young lady sitting next to you. Um, and it, is, can you introduce her? Who is she with? Like, what she got going on? Oh, that's my little cousin, Nakia Boston. Okay. Um, AKA Fat. You know, she's a part of Jesus Gang. She's a part of Jesus Gang Gang as well. Okay. And she sings um, Knocking on Heaven Door. Uh, also, her new single is coming out. It's called Pain, and she's also she's featuring on um, Trials and Tribulations as well. Okay, is there a way we can find her yeah. on social media? Say, hey, fat. <laughs> What's your social media? Oh yeah, um, her social media, Nakia Boston okay. on uh, Facebook. Her Instagram is uh, Ilza dot Nakia okay. on IG. All right. So, Okay, that's that's good, man. You not only just you know reaching out in your own career, worried about yourself. You're actually bringing right. people along, right? And that's what's up, man. Like I said, move. All right. She got the same dreams I got. So, anything else you want to tell the people? Appreciate y'all having me here. Too, that's man. real, bro. On behalf of Shout out to uh, you know, Wi-Fi, Lord to say, Jesus Gang Gang. We got the kid, you know what I'm saying? AKA Fat. And be looking out for us, cause we coming. We coming. In the name of Jesus, Amen. <laughs> That's real. For real.
I'm losing, trying to paint the picture clear. I roam that jungle without a spirit of fear. I'm knocking on heaven's door, cause your spirit is near.